our lovely congregation and leaders, you know, we all came together and brought covered dish. So if you haven't brought covered dish yet, it's okay. We love you. Just come fellowship with us. Amen? Amen. And, you know, man, and just come join. Just, just come join within the anointing. Be with us. Because I love you. We love you in Christ and Christ alone. Amen. Amen. But there is a word today. Yeah. There is a profound, profound word today that God gave me to share with all of you. A profound word. And that illustration. I feel the Spirit of God here, saints. Let it strong. Yes. Right and that word will symbolize who fresh fire community churches and it's 21st century like and forth many critics said oh they won't make it more than 90 days many critics said they won't make it more than six months many people said they won't make it up to a year that'd be a miracle if they'd be here a year but i got news for those critics who i love and forgive by the way the fresh fire community church made it 90 days we made it six months and we made it to a year, and we will always be here. Cause God birth something out. Yes. No matter how, just stop it. Yes. And the Spirit of God spoke something to his sisters. No woman, no man, no devil in hell can stop the purpose and plan of God upon your life and our life. Yes. Because the hand of Jehovah is upon your life and in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God, the old guy in she I don't care what hell you are going through. Jesus is for you, not against you. Jesus is for you, saints, not against you. I don't care what sickness, what poverty, whatever is she going through. Jesus is for you and I, not against you. God loves you. God loves you so much that he gave very own soul. Hold on, Lord, to worship in a minute. Pastor Kara got a solo she wants to sing in. It really plays out very well here for today. I want to share this with you. Per John Kilpatrick, Reverend John Kilpatrick from Mobile, Alabama. He has a church up there. There's no hurt and pain like the loss of a child. We all know what happened a couple of days ago. Amen? Amen. We all aware of what happened a couple of days ago. Yes. When that young kid went crazy, possessed, yeah. oppressed, depressed. I don't know what happened. I know he went crazy. And he made a bad, 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 profound choice. Amen. Did God love him? Absolutely. Yeah. But he had a choice. He had a choice to stop and walk away or pull that trigger. That's what I'm going to say. And he chose the wrong side. That's what I'm going to say. We can't judge nobody. <coughs> we're not here to judge nobody. But this is what I'm telling you. Many lives were killed and hurt and damaged forever. Listen to what John Kepatrick said. There's no hurt and pain like a loss of a child. Come on. We must carry these families in our hearts and prayers for weeks and months to come. We must also carry our nation, the famous United States of America, in prayer. Here goes. Something is terribly wrong with this nation. When you can walk into a school and start shooting individuals and more or less innocent sweet kids, that makes you worship. Per John Kilpatrick, Reverend John Kilpatrick from Mobile, Alabama, anointed man of God. Yes. This nation needs a revival, Brother Bob. Amen, Amen sir. Yeah. This nation needs a revival. Yes. And we here at Fresh Fire Criminal Church, we're going to do our part. Amen. Because we know that Lake of Needs is shaken in the anointing of Jesus. Yes. Not a theological. A theological, pathological shaking. But a shaking of the anointing yes. of God. The leg will be shaken. It will be shaken. That's a statement. It promise it will be shaken in the anointing once again. And I believe that with all my heart, saints. And if you look around, look at the army that God is 
It's from Ice and Oak. We all got different backgrounds, different theology right now, different, you know, domination. We, we do. Many different dominations right now established in this place. Some Pentecostal, some Catholic, some Baptist, some, you know, whatever. That ain't the point. I care less. But we're here together. We're here together in the love of Jesus. We're here together. Here is the mighty, mighty rainbow word that Jesus Christ still saves and seeks the lost to heal them. We're here together. Not because only food. I'm going to be pardoned. And I'll blame you. I'm hungry too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There's no preaching hunger. But I'm hungry for Jesus. I'm hungry for the move of God. I'm hungry for no revival. That let the shell be shaken under the anointing once again. That was a prophetic word God gave me in 2011 in October. That let the shell will be shaken under the anointing once again. And I ain't the only one that have heard that and ran with it. Many, many well-known ministry ministers, amen, has confirmed the same thing. Has confirmed it to the very shot, to the very I and T. They have crossed the T and dot the I's. That's a prophetic word. Lincoln needs another great awakening in this hour. Yes. In this hour. Amen.
my guys, you got it, please. to your word. We thank you for your anointing that's already here. I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity that you have given me to minister to your loaded flocks. I thank you that has been one year in the anointing as senior pastor Fresh Fire Community Church. I worship you and I honor you for this opportunity. I thank you and I glorify you for it. I also thank you, Father God, for our lovely flocks, who I love so much, who we love so much. I thank you for bringing them. I thank you for protecting them. Every one of our lovely flocks, cover them, shield them, anoint them, use them, empower them, embrace them for your glory alone. I thank you, Father, for your just for your forgiveness and mercy and grace. I thank you for your cross of Calvary. I thank you for today. Yes, Because today you have made. We all shall rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you that your word has its position in my heart, in our heart, in my life, in our lives. I thank you that your word is a firm foundation conviction of our life. I thank you for thy anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Nazareth, and the body of Christ says, Amen. 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 If you're taking notes, you may write, Joseph in charge of Egypt. <laughs> Joseph in charge of Egypt. That's the title for today. Joseph in charge of Egypt. Mm. If you will turn to Genesis 41, please. Genesis chapter 41, if you have the your Bible with you. <coughs> Genesis 41, verse 39 through 49. Genesis 41 through 39 okay. and 49. I'll read from the King James Version from the Holy Scriptures. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. For thy word. For thy word. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For thy spirit. For thy spirit. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For thy blood. For thy blood. That was shed for me. That was shed for me. Without one plea. Without one plea. On your cross of Calvary. On your cross of Calvary. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, God. Genesis 41. Verse 39 through 49. Genesis 41 through 39 and 49. Says, Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Genesis 41, verse 39. Hallelujah. 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 And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Verse 39 to Genesis 41. Verse 40. Verse 40. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. Verse 41. Genesis 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Verse 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine line and put a gold chain about his neck. Verse 43. And he made him to ride in the second chariot, which he had. And they cr cried before him, bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Verse 44. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Verse 45. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Daphneth, 
10 now. He's forgiven if I, if I'm not right. <laughs> and he gave him to his wife, Ashenah, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Verse 46. And Joseph was 30 years old. Say 30 years old with me. 30, 30 years, years old. old. I want to just give you a little side note. Your past is 30. I want to share. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm going to say right now. Amen. I'm 30 young age. Amen. 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 Which were in the land of Egypt and laid up the food in the cities, the food of the field, which was run about every city, laid he up in the same. Verse 49. And Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea, very much until he left numbering, for it was without number. That, mean, that means that God gave an increase beyond measure with the first seven years of his promise to Joseph and to Egypt. Amen. Joseph in charge of Egypt. Joseph in charge of Egypt. I will dare to say, you hear me? I will Amen. dare to say this afternoon that God has given a part of Lakeland to fresh fire yes. community church. Amen. Come on, Amen. Saints. Yes. I will dare to say that God Almighty has given a part, a part of Lakeland to Fresh Fire Community Church. Think about that. Start chewing on that. I didn't say all Lakeland. I said a part of Lakeland. Think about it. God has entrusted us with a community of believers as a church, as a whole. Amen? Amen. He has entrusted every church, every pastor, likewise. But here at Fresh Fire Community Church, we have a responsibility. We're not here to build another program mm -hmm. of a religious institution. Oh, yeah. But we're here to build a Holy Ghost institution. Yes. Amen. 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 We're here to build a institution of revival. Mm -hmm. A place where souls will come. Yes. That are bound under the power of Satan. Yes. And that they can be broken in the anointing. With respect, not every pastor in church can say that. Amen. That's all I'm saying. Just Amen. saying. Just saying. What I'm saying is this. We, as a church, corporately speaking, and individually, we have a responsibility. If you're a member here at Fresh Five Community Church, if you call FSC in your home church, and me, Pastor Kerry, your senior pastor, you then have a responsibility. And your responsibility... It's souls. Yes. It's souls. Yes. It's lost souls. Yes. Going to hell every yes. day Amen. and tell them that Jesus loves them. Yes. That Jesus loves them. That Jesus loves them. Because the Bible tells me so. Yes. That is the main foundation and the main core of this ministry in this church. And behind this holy press is mighty pulpit. And will always stay like that. And will never change. I promise you that much. We have a responsibility as believers, part of the body, and members here at Fresh Fire Community Church. Once again, I don't care if it's 10 people or 55,000. My heart is that individuals who need to know Jesus may come into the house of the Father and find comfort and love yes, and a revival Amen. and a regeneration in their yes, soul. Yes, Lord. I don't care how drugged up, how downcast they are. Amen. This is the house of Jehovah. Amen. And the house of Jehovah is a house of praise and worship, yes. a house of regeneration, yes. a house of revival, yes. an establishment for individuals to come yes. and get filled up Yes. Set free, saved, and sent forth Amen. into Lincoln and abroad. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We all have a part here at Fresh Fire Community Church. But it's up to you to grab it and run with the vision of FSCC, given by the precious Holy Ghost. Did you catch that? Amen. We were driving down 98 last year. Before October, well, 
around October, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And that's when the precious Holy Ghost spoke to me and the Pastor Kara. That leg should be shaken under the anointing <laughs> once again. Once more, same thing. Or once again. That's accurate words of it. Once again. Our church was birthed out, as we all know already. There's a reason why I'm emphasizing it. Get in your spirit, man, in your costume. We're here as a spiritual gas station. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. As a gas station. Spiritual gas station. Like a half by a my Holy Ghost has gas station, amen? amen? To refill and to empower individual lives who are burnt out, they've been bashed, burn up, dragged down, abused, mentally, physical, spiritually. That is a place for those individuals here under my voice. Amen. This place is not built upon rich folks, I'll be honest with you. Class, seven dishes a year, folks. There's nothing wrong with that. God bless them all. This place is built upon the precious Holy Spirit and the anointing of God. Amen. And because Amen. of that, we'll always stay like that. And because of that, souls will always be saved. And love and forgiving comfort and, and power. And feel wanted. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God set Joseph apart for a reason. Catch the saints. He went through hell for 12 years, but mm -hmm. God raised him up and set him in second and power or second position next to Pharaoh. Did you catch that? Amen. Joseph went through hell for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He went through Hades, through hell for 12 years. Lied about, tricked, thrown in a pit. By his own brothers. Come on, saints. Amen. You want me to teach? I'm going to teach you today. God Amen. bless. I love you all. Thrown by his own brothers in a big old hole because of jealousy mm -hmm. and deception and lies and made his own father Jacob. By the way, Jacob is Joseph's father. I just want to let you know that. Amen. Made Jacob go crazy. I feel the spirit of God in here, saints. Amen. I feel the spirit of freedom and liberty and healing and restoration in the shower right now. Amen. I don't, oh my God. I don't care what hole the devil throw you in. Jesus greater than the hole and God Amen. Can raise you up. Yes. I don't care what hole the enemy has tried to cast you in there. Jesus is much greater than the hole. God is much greater than the hole. God is much greater than that pit. I don't care. I don't care how many times you and I fall to and fall in that hole. I don't care, saints. I really don't care. That ain't the point about falling in the pit. The point is allowing Jesus to raise you back up for his glory alone so he may use you and manifest glory through your life for others. That's the concept and that's the point. If Joseph was never thrown in that hole, catch this, if Joseph was never thrown in that hole, he would never become second in position of Egypt. Did you catch that? Joseph had to be thrown in the hole for a reason. Oh, you're not catching this. Yeah. How many times have me and you been thrown in the hole and we think, or we thought, oh God, you're so lovable, you're so awesome, but we is much more. But how many times have we said, God, why am I going through hell? Why am I going through this or that? Why, 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 why? <laughs> it's for a reason. Amen. There's a reason for everything. All things work together for the good for those who love the call according to its purpose. Yes. Romans 8 28. Joseph was called for a purpose. Joseph was called to be a second and power for in this time in Egypt. If it wasn't for Joseph, Eva would have died. But Joseph knew the Spirit of God. Joseph knew the voice of Jehovah God. How many times have we felt like God has left us? How many times? Be honest. 
have, saints. I know I have. Yes, your pastor is saying, I have felt many times that the Spirit of God has departed from me in my house. Yeah. But I was foolish. I was dumbfounded. When I found out that the awesome purpose of God behind all that was a greater and glorious impact that He wanted to use us yeah. for His glory alone. Yeah. A time to come. How many times have you said, God, where are you at? I can't hear you anymore. Nothing is happening. Why is my life seem like it's just, just, just so deep in a pit in a hole that I, I mean, I don't hear you. I don't see you. Where are you? Where are you, God? Yeah. I'm here to tell you this afternoon. God is in you and upon you. God loves you. Yes. Amen. I'm here to exhort you. And I, Astounding yes. your spirit, man. God is for you, and he's not against you. Amen. It's God that justifies. It's God that judges people, not men, but it's God. Yeah. God had a purpose and a plan for Joseph. Because God seen 12 years later one day that Joseph was going to become the man that he wanted Joseph to be. Amen. Joseph didn't see 12 years later. Hmm. Brother Angel, amen? amen. He couldn't see. He was human like you are, like I am. <coughs> Joseph couldn't see that. But the Spirit of God did, and much more. And much more. Yeah. The Spirit of God did. The Spirit of God did. He seen 12 years and beyond. My question is God saved Joseph. For a particular reason, for a particular purpose, for a particular plan. God has saved you, myself, all of us, God cast us for a particular purpose, for a particular reason, and for a particular plan upon this earth. Amen. Yeah. Once again, they might try to throw you in a pit, or even you did land in the pit or in a hole. But as God is God, and Jesus, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, God is for you, and He's not against you. Amen. God was with Joseph. He had Joseph in the palm of His hand. We might go through hell now, but the victory in Christ is over the hill. Over the horizon. We just have to keep walking forward and not looking back. Amen. We, we, we must keep our eyes focused on Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. Cast it. Verse 49 again. And Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea. Very much until he left numbering, for it was without number. Why was it? Because when God comes in the picture, the blessings come behind it. Amen. Good God Almighty. When God speaks something to assistance, and because he has kissed on it, and he has approved it. God has approved your life. You're here for a purpose. Joseph was there for a purpose. He had God allowed Joseph to be thrown in the hole for a purpose. So one day, Joseph to stand and second in position or in power Amen. and Egypt. Amen. Let God Almighty call you Joseph to save his people. And so he did. So he did. God used Joseph. And then beyond that, be honest with you, God used that toward Joseph so Joseph can forgive his brothers. You didn't catch that. Amen. One more time. If God allows you to go to a hole, it's for you and I to learn a particular task yes. within that particular moment. Amen. Yes. Cast that, saints. Amen. Cast that. If it seems that God is out there on left field and you are in right field, God hasn't left you. He's still with you. Yes. But it's purposely and for a reason why you cannot hear him in that particular moment. Pastor, 
Amen. You don't think that Joseph felt betrayed? It? Angry? Yes. Man? He hated. Hate just don't, you know, build up in just heart. Yes. You can't blame him. Amen. I can't blame him. Joseph was a human being like you are. Like I am. Yes. Amen. Amen. But Joseph had this decision. Yes. He had the decision to do what Jehovah God has directed him to do or turns back from God and do what he wanted to do. Joseph could have killed. Has this. He could have killed his brothers right there on the spot. Yes, he could. Do you hear what I said? Amen. He yes. had the power to kill his brother right there on the spot, but he did it. Amen. Yes. And Sarah took Joseph's wife to soften his heart. Joseph's wife soften his heart. Go read your Bible. This is a homework. Amen. Joseph's wife soften her husband's heart. Yes. God used his wife to soften his heart. Thank God for wives. Thank God for Holy Ghost wives. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but the whole concept here is he was thrown into a pit left for death. They had to kill an animal. Amen. Amen. Got his jacket, his precious jacket, his coat, by the way. Dripped blood on it or dipped it in blood. Dipped it in blood and took it to Jacob. We don't, guys, Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> a prophet of God. Jacob. Amen. We ain't talking about no Jojo here. Jacob. A man of God. Yeah. In the lineage of Abraham. Isaac was his daddy. Abraham his grandfather. We're talking about a true, true man of God, Jacob, on the same lineage. And then Joseph's brother threw him in that pit. Poor Benjamin. I felt bad for Benjamin. And by the way, Benjamin was the youngest next to Joseph. But why? Why did God allow that to happen? So Egypt could be saved one day. Why has God allowed you to live up to this point? Why? Ask a question within your heart. Why? How come? Because God has a purpose and a plan for your life in the shower here in Lake of Fort. Yes. And the Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you were, please turn to St. Matthew. I want to give you a little illustration to you. I believe it will bless his soul, soul. Saints. St. Matthew. Chapter 10. Amen. St. Matthew chapter 10. Amen. Verse 7. St. Matthew 10. Verse 7 and Jesus himself is speaking here with his own holy lips. St. Matthew 10, verse 7. And he said, And as he go preach, say, The kingdom of heaven is a hand. Verse 8. St. Matthew 10, verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely what? Yeah. Verse 9. For thy neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purse. Verse 10. St. Matthew 10, verse 10. Nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staffs, for the workman's worth of his meat. And into whatsoever city of town ye shall enter, inquire who in is worthy, and thereby till ye go hence. Verse 12. And when ye come into an house, salute it. Verse 13. And if the house be worthy, then your peace come upon it. But if it not be worth it, then your peace return to you. Quote and unquote. People say, Preacher, I hear you out, but what's your point? Very simple. God saved you for a reason. Amen. He has called you and I to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. Lay hands on the sick. Yes. Cast out devils. Yes. Raise the dead and yes, the things of God. Let the anointing of Christ yes, and Lord. come upon you in envy. Yes. Let the Spirit of God raise 
raise you up to be the man or woman who God's Spirit has called you and anoint you to be. Yes, Lord. God has a protocol. He has a protocol for you and I in this hour. And his protocol is called his glorious gospel. The gospel. The sacrificial gospel. That he laid down his life for you and I. That's his protocol. That's the truth behind the scenes. Yes. Christ has a protocol. And his protocol is called his glorious gospel. His good news. By the way, that means good news to you. Can I tell you? Same thing. His gospel. We all have a protocol upon our lives. Christ has sent us to be the light. Christ has sent us to be the salt. To be that person that other people can look at and be inspired and be empowered and even be convicted by. You heard me? Convicted by. If always you're around somebody, always make you feel good, 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 and no conviction behind that, there's a problem. Amen. You hear me? There's a problem. We must carry the Spirit of God upon us and in us at all times. The Spirit of God consists of conviction, by the way, Amen. and holiness and righteous lifestyle. Amen. The Spirit of God is more than joy, joy, joy all day long. So it is joy. Your Bible says the joy of the Lord is what? Our strength. Amen. So it's part of that. Amen. Yes. Amen, saints. But it consists more of that. The glorious gospel consists of the power of God through His Son, Jesus Christ of yes. Nazareth, the Son of the God of Galilee, Seawalk. Amen. It consists of you and I being a true, on fire individual for lost souls out there. People are going to hell every single day, every second, every minute. Somebody spending eternity. Yes. Eternity is knocking on the door. Amen. Eternity is knocking on the door. Thank it's up to you and I to yes. be the answer to the prayer yes, in Lord. Christ. Christ Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand up and take land. Yes. Possession. Yes. And I'll bring the land and land go forth. Yes. See what I said one more time. Let's stand up and take the land. What land is that? The land that you and I are right now walking and living upon. Amen. And offer him the land and lake it on for them. See, yes. as God gave Joseph each of them. Oh, God. He gave fresh fire community church yes. to us. The lake of yes. maybe shaking yes. under the anointing once again. Yes, Lord. Yes. There's a reason why God brought down FFCC for his glory alone. There's a reason why God spoke into a system to be. There's a reason. And our job is to flow in the anointing, to flow in God's love, and his mercy and grace and forgiveness through his blood. Our job is not to judge each other. Our job is to comfort and ensure and empower each other. To be a better individual for the things of God and God alone. We have a commission, we have a calling yes, from our chief of commander. Yes. They brought the Bible in. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. You hear us said? Yes. God first brought the Bible. Amen. Our true chief commander, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We have a true chief commander. Yes. The Bible calls him the head of the cornerstone, the chief of the cornerstone, who is Jesus. 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 Come on, say it. Jesus. 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 And declare and decree the name above all others. That name that opened up the Red Sea. That name that broke down the walls of Jericho. You're not hearing me. Huh? That name that smit the Egyptians when they tried to deprive the Israelites 
going to a promised land. That name that cast out demons and lay hands on sick and shall recover, raise the dead. Yes. And heal the cripple. That yes. name above all others. Yes. That name that came down to bring good news and glad tidings yes. to his people, to all mankind. Yes. That name of Emmanuel, God is with us. That name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. Yes. Joseph in charge of Egypt. Once again, in closing, I will dare to say that God has given a part likely to fresh fire community church. I will dare to say that boldly with conviction that God has entrusted fresh fire community church on his beautiful Holy Ghost one year anniversary. Amen. To let them forth. Amen. I believe that God has approved it. He has kissed it. Yes. And my spiritual father said, Pastor Steve is straight. He used that, that terminology a lot. If God kiss something, he has approved. Amen. Yes. yes. If God has kissed your household, he yes. has approved your household. If God has kissed your ministry, yes. he has approved your ministry. Amen. If God has kissed your life, he has approved your life. Yes. Whatever God has kissed, no devil in hell can be private. Amen. No devil or no man or woman. Amen. It's God who justifies yes. and protects his people and sheep. Yes. Yes. And call them unto green pastures beside the still water. Psalm 23, verse 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, I shall not want yes. or lack anything. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes. The Lord is our shepherd. Yes. The Lord is Christ's fire to move the church shepherd. And we shall never lack anything. Amen. We shall never lack anything. Amen, Lord. Because the Lord is our shepherd. Amen. Was it carefully to, to sing a solo in a minute? But before she does, do an offering, a time and offering. I want to share something with you. We're going to receive time and offering. Typically, I have somebody do this. Because, I, you know, I like to give people opportunity, amen? To exercise their gift for, you know, man, for Christ, yeah. towards Christ's people. It's very important when you and I give as a triple giver. Amen? It's very important. It's not that you and I give to a, a man or woman or a minister or church. We give because we love God. And we believe Jesus. in what God is doing in our midst yes, in a particular Lord. local symbol. Part of giving signifies that character that you and I have. I could tell every time when tithing and offering is being taught or spoken, amen, people like start to question a little bit. And I don't blame them, amen. I don't blame them because of past things has occurred and have been abused, amen. And amen. things has happened. You're right. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm the same, same, same page, you know what I mean, as you love me flocks. But the truth that matters is the word of God. Amen. And if the word of God emphasizes teaching, then we must what? Not only obey it, but also what? Emphasize it to others. Yes. Yes. Amen? Within biblical principle. Within biblical principle. So I want to encourage you to really search your heart. And while, and while Pastor Kara sings this beautiful song, it really touched my heart. And we all know it back in 1990. Darlene Check, I believe that she probably the original one. Amen? But hear the words, hear the lyrics. Because <coughs> it, it defines fresh fire community church. It marks who we are in the 21st century. 
individually and corporately. This is who we are here in Lakeland, Florida, here in Polk County and abroad. Church your heart. I plead with you. Church your heart and be obedient to the Holy Ghost through the words of Christ. Because giving is part of God's kingdom. Amen. Very, very much. God bless you. Wonderful Savior, I know for sure, all of my days are held in your hands, crafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me.
As we go and just fellowship, enjoy our shelf and get some cake, I believe, and some food and our lovely props have brought and lovely people have brought that us and um the plates and forks and uh, okay. Um I guess <laughs> uh we got quite a few people here, so sorry. Um we're gonna be eating um actually um we're gonna be eating in the back part of the church or the you know, store building, okay? So best for you know, so we get a pool and Pastor Carol will direct that <laughs> that that lane. But it'll be um, out and towards the back. Towards yeah. the back okay? yes. So we'll be able just to eat, you know, maybe fellowship, you know, in the back. We're very comfortable there. I go there almost every